He's been torturing my sleep for a week since I seen him. That buck is a flippin' smoke show. Dustin, get set up. He's a once in a lifetimer, no doubt about it. A once in a lifetimer, absolutely. In the beginning, we felt our success could only be measured in inches, and we'll never lose that drive to go big. But there's so much more to it now. It's about friendships. It's about putting a smile on someone's face and giving them their chance to be a hunter. That's something to be proud of. Being a hunter, the anticipation, the adrenaline, the journey, and the inevitable fact that you cannot control the outcome and the mystery that comes with that, there's nothing else like it. It's who we want to be. It's how we want to live our lives. And besides family, it's what we live for. He is unbelievable. Are you kidding me? Holy crap. How exciting was that? How exciting was that? Look at his brown tines. Oh, he's so wicked. Hey, man. He just stood up and looked the other way. The moment we've been waiting for for so long. Better do it. Stealth Cam proudly presents Live to Hunt with Cody and Kelsey. The Shottery Ranch and the Flunder family, a storybook setting tucked in the foothills of southwestern Alberta. A place filled with beautiful scenery, beautiful livestock, and an abundance of wildlife. For me, it's a place I go to see one of my lifelong friends, Mr. Dustin Flundra. Normally, we come to the Chaudhary to film world-class elk hunting in the rut. It's an exceptionally rare draw opportunity for Alberta residents that we try to film each year. And over the years, we've witnessed a lot of dreams come true. In 2008, a fellow named Tim Petrowski anchored a giant 7x7 bull. Tim had waited seven years for this chance at a bull in this country. And I'm sure he would say that it was worth every second of the wait. Nice big seven by seven bull elk, southern Alberta, beautiful mountains behind us. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. Another exciting hunt we did was with a police officer named Scott Beck, who on day two lived a moment I'm sure he will never forget. Got a big raspy bull coming. Oh! <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> nice. You are a stranger. You're the best buddies right now. That was awesome. Ten years for this draw down here. Scott's bull was a massive old 7x6 with long beams. Another bull we killed on the exact same ridge was Arnold Guthrie's. A scene with a giant old bull rounding up his cows at daybreak. Arnold got to share this big moment with his son Lyle, who shot another huge bull the following year. These are just a few of the memorable experiences I've had with other fellow hunters and my old pal Dustin. Duster and I started bronc riding together when we were teenagers, when we were 17 years old. And my career was short-lived and I went on to the hunting world. But Dustin continued on this whole time with his rodeo career. He's made it to the Canadian Finals Rodeo 15 times and been the Canadian Champion three times. He's made it to the National Finals Rodeo three times. And the thing that I think that I'm most proud of of my friend Duster is the fact that he won the Calgary Stampede in 2014. He won the $100,000 check and got to hold it up on the podium with Ron McLean, the hockey guy. And he won that beautiful bronze that every young kid that starts rodeoing dreams about. Which one would be your most favorite? You have to have a favorite one, AKA which one are you gonna give to me? Well, the fa my favorite one, but the one that I'm still probably not going to give to you is probably my Salinas buckle. It's just, uh, it's one of the biggest rodeos in the, in the PRCA, and it's one of the nicest buckles. 
probably my favorite one. It's beautiful. <laughs> no. The one that probably means the most, I guess, would be the 2007 Canadian Champion buckle. And how did it go? Went pretty good. It was my second Canadian title that, you know, kind of proved that the first one wasn't a fluke, but I... Uh, <laughs> it wasn't a fluke. Yeah. <laughs> set the record at the time for most money won and I think it still is the record for most first places over uh, over the Canadian Finals record. I'm very proud of my buddy. This is cool stuff. Dustin's wife Nikki is just as decorated as he is in the rodeo world with her trick riding and liberty act and you can easily see their two little boys, Ridge and Shade, are following in their footsteps. Dustin and Nikki's house is full of buckles and bronzes from their rodeo careers. But like a lot of rodeo stars, those aren't the only trophies on the wall. Dustin has been very successful in the hunting department as well. Which brings us to today's story. Dustin sent me photos of a world-class muley buck and quickly informed me he had a rare draw tag in his pocket. Live to Hunt with Cody and Kelsey is brought to you by Stealth Cam, Proven, Conquest Sense, the makers of Evercom, Limb Saver, products that work, 10 point crossbow technologies. There is no substitute. Black Eagle Arrows, superior carbon technology. Gwincher and Vortex Optics. My cameraman Richie and I planned to get out to Dustin's ranch a day early, so we had time to check the Cooper rifle and head out scouting with Dustin to try and see this magnificent buck for ourselves. Usually when we're on the Strawberry Ranch, we're hunting great big elk, but Duster has a mule deer tag. So we're going out to find him right now. He's been scouting them for days and days, terrorizing him with his bow and arrow, but rifle season starts tomorrow morning, so see if he's still in the country. The last couple days they're looking at does. Have you seen lots of does in places? Yeah. This morning was the first day that I haven't seen them in like week. As luck would have it, the day we showed up, the buck disappeared, which wasn't a big deal. I was looking just as forward to sitting on hillsides, glassing, and catching up with my old pal. That is one of the bucks. Dustin has been watching with the big guy. He saw this buck yesterday with, with the big one that he's been hoping to get a shot at. They've been together for like the last three days. <laughs> one thing that's changed since we were teenage pals is the fact that we've both started young families. The chance to become friends with a young outlaw named Ridge was a privilege indeed. A five-year-old version and spitting image of Dustin. The chance to be a dad is the greatest gift on earth, and I'm proud for both of us. On another serious note, Dustin has two boys, and I'll have two little girls. So in 10 years time, our friendship may experience a leave of absence. The rut is starting. He is not handsome. If your dad was a buck, Ridge, you'd call him daddy, that buck. If I was a buck, I'd be the buck your dad's going after. You know what I'm saying? Mm. <laughs> On the day that we had to scout before the season opened, we never found the buck that Dustin called Big Ben. Get up, Chris! <laughs> Every time. 
<laughs> We're done. It's no. over. It's not. I think it's safe to say that in 2017, when you buy a box of Fruit Loops, you're going to see a picture of Dustin Plundra. You're not thinking very clearly. Every hunter out there knows the feeling of anticipation you get the night before opening day. It could be the greatest overall emotion that comes with hunting. Adding a little salt and pepper to the intensity, imagine the chance to hunt the largest mule deer buck you will probably ever see on the hoof. Opening morning of rifle season for mule deer for Dustin's tag. The first place Dustin took us was a spot we'd seen a big herd of does the night before. Within 10 seconds of glassing, I saw a buck that was larger than life. That's him. This is literally the only thing I have on Dustin is I shoot big mealy bucks. He's cooler than me in every other way. And now he's gonna trump me on muleys. I'm glad you finally admit to that. What? I said I'm glad you're finally admit to the fact that I'm cooler than you in every way. That buck is a flippin' smoke show. Dustin's sauntering across here like he's going to check his cows. Dustin. You gotta calm down. You just gotta, you gotta get all yourself in the morning. Get close and we'll go to you. Make him over this rise. It's probably gonna be about 250, maybe. Not even. Dustin, Richie, and I had to crawl 20 more yards to get to the fence line, when suddenly I felt the wind on the back of my ears, and within seconds the lead doe was running, and the train derailed. Dustin, get set up. Live to Hunt with Cody and Kelsey is brought to you by Stealth Cam. Proven. 
Diamond Archery, cutting edge innovations. Rage, leading the evolution in lethal technology. Walker's Game Ear, protect it or lose it. Cooper Firearms of Montana and Heater Bodysuit. Mossy Oak and Nomad. I can't wait to get my hands on that one. You have no idea how close <laughs> and how long I've watched that deer. He's been torturing my sleep for a week since I seen him. I snuck up 14 yards a week ago, like four days ago with my bow and arrow on the one side of the tree. And we were and he got didn't up get him. And he couldn't went any direction, but the one that he went and all he had to take was two more steps to clear the bush and he turned and he walked straight away from me. And, and I had to lay down and I had to cry almost <laughs> in the grass and thought, this is bold. The most important thing is you didn't get him and gave us a chance to be here with you. But you are a monster muley buck. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. Well, we gotta go see this. Go buck. see this deer. When I found him, I, the first two people I called were my wife and Cody, and I went. I think I finally found a deer that you might even think is big, and I think <laughs> I really did this time. I just like I'm flattered that I'm in the same category as your wife. Yeah, yeah. We're about the same prettiness. Me and Nick. I don't know if I'd go that far. That's <laughs> There's a lot of things that you shouldn't keep from your wife, but your taxidermy bill is one of those things that should be kept from your wife. And I'm gonna take Dustin's buck to Sugar Creek Taxidermy for him, and I'll secretly bring him the bill back so his wife doesn't see. I'm sorry, Nikki. Oh, she's probably gonna watch the show. She does the books. Oh dear. <laughs> Dustin, oh, don't even touch him yet. Don't even touch him. Look at Richie, that come thing. up here. Look at this beautiful antler. Oh. Oh. You got no idea. You, you're awesome, man. That is a beautiful animal. Look at that thing. Oh. He's a once in a lifetimer, no doubt about it. A once in a lifetimer, absolutely. He's just a massive old buck that we all live for that we all hope to get one chance at in our lives. Oh, yeah. He's incredible. He's and to beautiful. Get to do, and to get to do it with you, Cody, and finally get to yes. join your 200 club, I think. Oh, the 200 club, I think you're in a higher club than that right now. <laughs> oh, He's incredible. got a huge frame, lots of mass. He's got the extras that give him the character. He's just a- He's stunning. Awesome, awesome deer. He, he is. Really is. We, we didn't get to watch him as much as Dustin has. We just saw him this morning. But the chance to see this buck running around, sniffing does, lip curling, doing his thing, getting ready for the rut in such a beautiful country. The mountains in the background. Yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do with myself now. I'll probably sleep at night is one thing. For the last seven, eight days, there's been at least an hour every morning and every evening where I've gone out and yeah. tried to find him and see where he was at and if he was in a good spot to yeah. try to get him with a bow or whatnot or just keep tabs of them. To, getting Kinda. a big buck like this, it's bittersweet because you, they keep you so entertained and the, the anticipation is what drives you and the chance at a buck like this, but then once you get them, that's that's all gone. It is, right. yeah. We've developed a relationship. Our wind was bad and a do the, the lead doe spooked and they were leaving and Dustin got a 200 yard shot with his Cooper 280 and you smoked them, man. And those are the moments I live for. The chance to be hunting with one of my very best friends after a buck this magnificent. Well, I'm glad I called you. 
Well, I'm glad you came. He is a beauty. I am so jealous. The mass along his beams is just out of this world. He has 10 points on his left. He has seven points on his right. Big brow tines. He's got a double white throat patch, which is something, I don't know, it's just special to me. I love seeing big old bucks with double white throat patches. They're just so pretty. Th this deer is awesome, man. He's a once in a lifetime. It's special. Yeah, it is. It's awesome. This is a this is a big old buck that you can stare at 40 years down the road and remember this day. And that's yeah. that's something I'll never forget. And I'm sure cameraman Richie or Dustin or anybody involved on a deer like this will never ever forget. And it's a it's a rare opportunity. No, nope, that's true. My pal Dustin and I have had some amazing experiences on the sunny slopes of southern Alberta, but none of them come close to this one, and the chance for Dustin to finally be the hunter himself, after all of his generosity and kindness for others, this beautiful old muley was well deserved. To follow the Live to Hunt team, join us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. To order Live to Hunt DVDs and apparel, go to livetohunt.com. Next week's previews brought to you by Squincher, hydration that works. Next week, we're headed out on a pack string with Shane Palmer and Saddle Axe Outfitters on a hunt for screaming bull elk in a rut. An action packed adventure with my wife Kelsey and the 10 point crossbow that you absolutely do not want to miss. See you next week. <laughs> oh, that is such a nice bull.